Hi YouTube, this is Ryan. Coming at you from my car. Heading up to uh, beautiful city of Santa Barbara, California. Uh, today is my first post-op rative appointment with my surgeon for VSG. Vertical sleeve gastrectomy. And uh, it's about an hour and a half drive, so you know, it's, it's a little bit of a stretch, but but it's not too bad. Just uh, one highway the whole way along the ocean here. But uh, yeah, I just want to do uh, let you know what I had going on today. On the way back, I'll uh, probably get the old uh, YouTube machine going and tell you what my surgeon said about my progress. But, uh, you know, things are going pretty good. Last couple of days, I've, I've stuck more strict to just pure liquids, the old, uh, the old faithful way, and um, you know, it's fine. Um, one thing I want to talk about is hunger. So I've been watching some videos lately, and I've been seeing that some people are saying that, uh, oh, you know, mental hunger, and I did a bit of video on mental hunger a week and a half ago, but we talk about mental hunger, we talk about is it physical hunger, it's kind of tough to tell when you're just a week or two out. But I think that it's definitely, for me, it's definitely a physical hunger. Um, you know, anytime you're gonna go on a liquid diet before you have, for days, you know, this is what we did before surgery, days, weeks, whatever you had to do. Yeah, I mean, in a way, you're kind of starving. Let's, let's just be honest. And so when you get the surgery, you're, afterward, your body's still saying, hey, I was starving for those days or weeks, so we need to start getting some food back and it's getting us back to level playing ground, you know, level, level ground. And, uh, so I think that is part of what works, works against you at the beginning. So I did have physical, I do have physical hunger. Uh, but it, the, on the bright side, it doesn't take much to get you full. So, you know, I have a couple of, a few drinks of a protein shake and I'm kind of back to good or I can have five spoons of chicken broth or a strained soup um, you know if it's a snack more of a snack thing I'll do like a sugar-free pudding um, so yeah I mean that's the bright side is that physical hunger can be handled pretty quickly and then after you handle that if you're if you see something or smell something obviously that's a mental hunger so uh, I got an NSV talking about hunger yesterday after my two-week post-op video I made in the morning wife and I we never hardly ever have a day off together without our son you know he was at daycare um, at least part of the day <laughs> so you know went for that walk in the morning but we, we went to the movies and the movie theater we went and saw the airplane one um, non-stop I think it's called good movie by the way watch it um, but when we were getting ready to go, I said, you know, it is just during the day, like a one o'clock movie. I said, you know, you, she's like, are you going to, is it okay if I get popcorn? She asked me. And I said, well, you know, I, I'd, I'd rather you just, you know, get some other kind of snack or something and take in with you uh, than have the popcorn. Because, I mean, one, I don't eat a lot of popcorn, but when I go to the movies, I eat popcorn. I like the popcorn at the movie theater, I can't lie. And, um, even one thing that I do, if I have a day off from work, middle of the week, wife's working, son's at daycare or something like that, I every, maybe once a month or once in a while, or once every couple of, I'll go to a theater by myself, get a little bag of popcorn and a, and, a, and a drink, and I'll just sit there and watch a movie, and I, I just love that whole experience. That's part of it. So I tell her, hey, you know, if you can get a snack, she said, no, I, I want to get popcorn. So I said, okay, well, I guess that's okay. I guess that's cool. And so she gets, uh, so we go to the movies and one in SB is we pay our tickets, we're walking in. And as I'm walking from, and we go get the popcorn, I'm smelling the popcorn and the butter. But as we're walking into the movie theater, I make her hold the popcorn as we walk in, by the way, to the, to the, to the door where you go into your room. And I held the, the drink, but... Usually I hold it and it's like, hey, look, you want to get that popcorn? You have it in your hand. I'm not going to accidentally dip down and bite a few pieces. But the first NSB was, as I'm walking in, I just had this aha moment where I felt 
wow. And I said this out loud, and the wife heard. I said, wow, I feel really good right now. You know? She's like, what, really? I said, yeah, I just, for some reason I feel good. I feel kind of light on my legs. And I don't know, I'm just feeling better. She's like, yeah, well, you, you, know, you take 50 pounds off, you, you're going to feel better. And it's true. So that's one in SV that was good, that was really cool. The second one is I managed to make it through the whole movie with her eating popcorn next to me. And all I had was this right here, Crystal Light Peach Iced Tea that I brought in illegally. Uh, but And I managed to get through it. And that was pretty good. And I had a couple bites of yogurt before, I went, before we went in so I wouldn't feel super hungry. By, by the end of the, towards the end of that movie, though, I was hungry and there was popcorn left. But I didn't have any, so that's another NSB. Thought I would share. Some of you might be like, "Well, I can't believe she had popcorn when you went in." Honestly, uh, you know, I mean, we gotta let people be normal. So, in a way, I wasn't too too upset about it. But um, that's about it for now. Um, I will catch up with you guys on the way back. All right, guys, I'm back at home. Uh, just got back from my Santa Barbara trip to see my surgeon for my first post-op update. It's two weeks and one day out of surgery. And uh, she said things went really well. She was really impressed with my weight loss so far. Um, says I'm looking good. And she, we talked a little bit about the foods I was eating and she wants me to stay more liquidy, uh, which I've been doing after a few days ago when I had I tried a couple of soft foods, didn't go down too well. She just re, you know, reiterated the importance of the liquids and how things can happen, negative things can happen to your sleeve. You can have a stitch break or things like that if you if you push it too much. So, so I'm on board with that, doing well. And um, she also looked at my stitches. She said that I'm healing incredibly fast. One of my stitches on the top, I think I have five total. One of the top is already scabs come off, and it, it looks really good. One of them is about to do that. Uh, so. That's great. Um, she, we talked about my goal weight. My goal weight, she wants to be about 190 to 200. I was thinking my goal, I thought I would get down to two, under 200 slightly and then eventually coast back up to that 215, 220 range is where I thought I would be. But she said, no, I don't want you to be at that. That's too heavy for you. I want you to be at 190 to 200. She's all, you're kind of a muscular build person. So I think that, uh, you know, the 190 to 200 would be a heavier, a good weight for you. Um, 180, I think, is technically what she said the BMI wants before you're not obese. But she says, I think that'll be too thin for you. So uh, let's focus on the 190 to 200. So it's exciting. I feel good already at 273, what I am now. Um, so I'm going to feel great at, at, two, um, at 190 or 200. So uh, that's exciting. I look forward to that. Uh, I did have some questions on my hiatal hernia. You know, I'd seen some, some videos of people that had that that the recovery time was longer for the hiatal hernia than the, um, so I asked about that and she said, no, it's about the same. And uh, she went over what exactly that was. And I was really surprised. It turns out that your stomach has a hernia and goes up into where your esophagus comes down. And she showed me some images on the computer. And um, so it was a little bit worse than I thought. I was thinking hernia, just like somewhere in the bottom of my stomach had some kind of knot in the muscle, but no, it's actually where that goes up. So it sounds kind of serious, but she repaired it. Told me she got it and brought it back down to normal. Put some, um, you know, stitches in to keep it down. So that should be doing good. I'm going to go back to her in a couple of months. And we're going to do some blood work to see where I'm deficient at. And that kind of thing. But overall, she was very happy with my weight loss and how I'm doing. And um, I'm excited too. So it was a good meeting. And just want to give you guys an update. You guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.